Studying in the United States is a dream for many international students. However, the process of getting admitted to a US university can be complicated, especially when it comes to credential evaluation. A transcript is a record of your academic achievements, such as your grades, course titles, and credit hours. To be admitted to a US university, international students must have their transcripts evaluated by a recognized agency. The evaluation process starts with filling out a form and submitting it to an evaluation agency along with the required fees and documents, such as a copy of your transcript and diploma. There are many evaluation agencies in the United States, and it's essential to choose one that is recognized by the university you are applying to. Most universities have a list of recognized agencies on their website. Once you've submitted your documents to the evaluation agency, they will review them and provide a report that shows how your academic achievements compare to those of a US student. This report is sent to the university you are applying to. The university's admissions office will use the report to determine if you meet their admission requirements. If they have any questions or concerns about the report, they may contact the evaluation agency for more information. Once your transcript has been evaluated, and you meet the university's admission requirements, you will receive an acceptance letter. Congratulations! You're one step closer to achieving your dream of studying in the United States. In conclusion, getting your transcript evaluated is an essential part of the admission process for international students. Be sure to choose a recognized agency, and submit your documents early to allow enough time for the evaluation process. With the right preparation, you can achieve your dream of studying in the United States. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Rahul. He's a high school student from India who dreams of studying in the United States. Like many other students, he's worried about the admissions process and whether he has what it takes to get accepted into a US university. One of the things that Rahul is concerned about is his academic performance. He's worried that he might have too many backlogs from his high school exams to get accepted into a US university. Yeah. I've heard that US universities are really competitive and they only accept the best students. It's true that US universities are very selective when it comes to admissions, but having a few backlogs on your academic record doesn't necessarily mean you can't get accepted. Really? So how many backlogs are acceptable? Well, it depends on the university and the program you are applying to. Some universities are more lenient than others when it comes to academic performance. For example, some universities might accept students with up to two or three backlogs, while others might only accept students with a clean academic record. Oh, I see. So I guess it's important to research the different universities and their admission requirements. Absolutely. It's important to do your research and find the universities that are the best fit for you. Don't let a few backlogs discourage you from pursuing your dreams of studying in the United States. Thanks for the study metro advice. I'm going to keep working hard and do my best. That's the spirit, Rahul. With hard work and dedication, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Good luck on your journey to studying in the United States. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Studying in the USA as an international student can be an exciting and rewarding experience, but it also requires a lot of preparation and planning. In this video, we'll cover the key requirements that international students need to meet in order to study in the USA. The first step in the process is to research the requirements for the specific college or university you are interested in attending. Each school may have slightly different requirements, so it's important to check their website or contact the admissions office for details. Once you've identified the requirements, the next step is to complete the application process. This typically involves submitting an application form, transcripts, test scores, and other supporting materials. One key requirement for international students is proficiency in English. Most colleges and universities require international students to take an English proficiency exam, such as the TEFL or IELTS. Another important requirement is demonstrating that you have the financial resources to pay for your education. This may include submitting documentation of your financial situation and filling out financial aid forms. Finally, in order to study in the USA, international students must obtain a student visa. This involves completing a visa application, attending an interview at the US Embassy or Consulate, and providing supporting documentation. While the process of meeting these requirements may seem daunting, it's important to remember that colleges and universities in the USA are welcoming to international students and are there to support you throughout the process. By completing these requirements, you'll be on your way to experiencing all the opportunities and benefits that studying in the USA can offer. 
like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Getting into a university in the United States can be a daunting process, especially if you're an international student. With so many universities to choose from, it can be difficult to know what the minimum admission criteria are. In this video, we'll take a look at the basic requirements for admission to universities in the US. The first thing to consider is your academic record. US universities typically require a high school diploma or equivalent, and they will want to see your transcripts. This means you'll need to have taken a rigorous course load in high school, including classes in English, Math, Science, Social Studies, and Foreign Language. You'll also need to take a standardized test, such as the SAT or ACT for undergraduate degree and GRE or GMAT for master degree. These tests measure your knowledge and skills in reading, writing, and math. Most universities have a minimum score requirement for these tests, so it's important to prepare and study ahead of time. In addition to your academic record and test scores, most universities will require you to write an essay or personal statement. This is your opportunity to showcase your writing skills and explain why you are interested in attending that particular university. Finally, universities want to see that you are a well-rounded individual who is involved in extracurricular activities. This could include sports, clubs, community service, or anything else that shows you have interest outside of academics. Keep in mind that meeting the minimum admission criteria doesn't guarantee acceptance to a university. Competition can be fierce, especially for top-tier universities. However, if you focus on maintaining a strong academic record, preparing for standardized tests, writing a compelling essay, and staying involved in extracurricular activities, you'll be well on your way to success. We hope this video has helped you understand the minimum admission criteria for US universities. Remember, there are many great universities in the US, so do your research and find the one that's the best fit for you. Good luck, like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Congratulations on taking the first step towards pursuing your dream of getting a degree from a US university. Applying for admission can be a daunting task, but we're here to help you through the process. The first thing you need to do is visit the university's website and check the admission requirements for the program you're interested in. Make a list of all the required documents and start gathering them. Here's a checklist of the documents you'll need for your application. The first item on the list is your academic transcripts. You'll need to request transcripts from all the schools you've attended, including high school and any colleges or universities. Make sure the transcripts are official and sealed. Next, you'll need to submit your test scores. Depending on the program, you may need to take the SAT, ACT, GRE, or GMAT. Make sure you check the university's website for the required test and minimum scores. You'll also need a valid passport for your application. If you're an international student, you may also need a visa. A resume or CV is also required in most cases. Make sure it's up to date and tailored to the program you are applying to. You'll also need to submit a personal statement or essay. This is your chance to showcase your personality, goals, and accomplishments. Lastly, you'll need recommendation letters from teachers, employers, or mentors. Make sure you give your recommenders enough time to write the letters and provide them with all the necessary information. Once you have all the documents, make sure you double-check the checklist and submit everything before the deadline. You can usually submit your application online on Study Metro Cloud Portal. Make sure you follow the instructions carefully and pay the application fee on University Application Portal. And that's it. Now all you have to do is wait for the university's decision. Good luck on your application and we wish you success in your academic journey. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Sarah, a bright and ambitious student from India who dreams of studying in the United States. Like many international students, Sarah is excited about the opportunities that studying abroad can provide. But she is also worried about the finances. The cost of tuition, room and board, and other expenses can add up quickly, and Sarah wants to make sure she has a solid understanding of what it will take to finance her education in the US. So, what are the finances requirement to study in the US? Well, Sarah, there are several key expenses that you'll need to consider when planning your finances for studying in the US. The first and most obvious expense is tuition. Depending on the school and program you choose, tuition can range from $10,000 to $50,000 per year or even more. Okay, I knew that tuition would be a big expense. Yes, but that's just the beginning. 
You'll also need to budget for room and board, which can be anywhere from $8,000 to $20,000 per year. And then there are additional expenses like textbooks, transportation, and personal expenses. Wow, it's a lot to think about. It can be, but there are also many resources available to help you. For example, many schools offer scholarships and financial aid to international students. That's great to know. What other options are there? You can also look into loans or other forms of financial assistance, but it's important to be careful and make sure you understand the terms and conditions of any loans you take out. Okay, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Thank you Study Metro. With a better understanding of the financial requirements for studying in the US, Sarah feels more confident about pursuing her dream. And with the help of financial aid, scholarships, and careful planning, she knows that she can make it a reality. So if you're an international student dreaming of studying in the US, don't let finances hold you back. With the right planning and resources, anything is possible. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hi there! Are you thinking about pursuing your higher education abroad, but you're not sure where to go? Well, have you considered studying in the United States? With over 5,000 colleges and universities, the US offers a wide range of academic programs and opportunities for students from around the world. So, let's explore why studying in the USA might be the perfect choice for you. Academic Excellence the United States is known for its prestigious and renowned universities and colleges, consistently ranked among the top in the world. With world-class faculty, cutting-edge research facilities, and a diverse range of academic programs, studying in the USA ensures you receive a top-notch education that will prepare you for your future career. Cultural Diversity The USA is a melting pot of cultures, with people from all corners of the world calling it home. As a student, you will have the opportunity to interact with people from various backgrounds, learn about different cultures, and gain a global perspective. You will also have the chance to participate in a wide range of cultural activities, from international student clubs to attending cultural events in your community. Career Opportunities The US is home to many of the world's top companies and industries, offering numerous internship and job opportunities for international students. In addition, many universities have strong career services departments that provide resources and guidance for finding employment after graduation. Flexible Education System The U.S. education system is flexible, allowing you to design your own academic program and choose from a wide range of courses. You can explore different subjects and fields of study before deciding on your major, and many universities also offer interdisciplinary programs that combine different areas of study. Campus Life Studying in the USA offers a vibrant campus life with a variety of extracurricular activities and organizations, including sports teams, music groups, and clubs for every interest. Living on campus also provides the opportunity to make lifelong friendships and connections with people from around the world. Conclusion So there you have it. Studying in the USA offers numerous benefits, from academic excellence to cultural diversity to career opportunities. With so many options for universities and academic programs, you are sure to find the perfect fit for your academic goals and personal interests. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and experience all the USA has to offer. For more details on this topic, make sure to check out the video description below. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hi there! Today we are going to talk about studying abroad in four of the most popular destinations for international students. The United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia. Each country offers its own unique advantages, so let's take a closer look at what each has to offer. Let's start with the United States. The US is home to some of the world's most prestigious universities, including Harvard, Yale, and Stanford. The US education system is also known for its flexibility, allowing students to explore a wide range of academic interests. 
International students can work part-time on campus during their studies and for up to three years after graduation through the optional practical training OPT, program. However, tuition and living expenses in the US can be quite high, making it a costly option for many students. Moving on to Canada. This country is known for its welcoming attitude towards international students. Canada's education system is also highly regarded, with universities like the University of Toronto and the University of British Columbia ranking among the top in the world. One of the key advantages of studying in Canada is its relatively low tuition fees compared to the US, along with the opportunity to work part-time on and off campus during studies. In addition, Canada has a fast-track immigration program called the Canadian Experience Class that can help international students stay in Canada permanently after graduation. Next up is the United Kingdom. The UK is home to some of the world's oldest and most prestigious universities, including Oxford and Cambridge. Students in the UK enjoy a high quality of education and can choose from a wide range of courses and programs. However, the cost of tuition and living expenses in the UK can be quite high, and international students are generally not allowed to work off campus during their studies. But with that said, students are allowed to work up to 20 hours a week on campus during term time, and full time during holidays. Finally, let's talk about Australia. Australia is known for its laid-back lifestyle and high quality of life. The country's education system is also highly regarded, with universities like the University of Melbourne and the University of Sydney ranking among the top in the world. Australia also has a relatively low cost of living compared to the US and the UK, and international students are allowed to work up to 20 hours a week during their studies. After graduation, students can apply for a temporary graduate visa, which allows them to work in Australia for up to four years. So, there you have it, a brief overview of what each of these countries has to offer for international students. Ultimately, the decision of where to study abroad will depend on your individual needs and preferences. But no matter which country you choose, studying abroad can be a life-changing experience that broadens your horizons and opens up new opportunities. For more details on this topic, make sure to check out the video description below. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. A journey to remember, my life as an international student in the USA. My name is Abby, and I come from India. Like many others, I came to the USA to pursue higher education and chase my dreams. Leaving my home and loved ones behind was a daunting experience, but I knew that this journey was worth it. Living in a dormitory was a new experience for me, but it allowed me to meet people from all over the world and form lifelong friendships. Attending lectures, studying for exams, and completing assignments were all part of my daily routine. But the challenges that came with it made me stronger and more resilient. Outside of academics, I was able to explore the campus, participate in various clubs and activities, and attend sporting events. It helped me to broaden my horizons and learn more about American culture. During my breaks, I took the opportunity to travel and explore different parts of the country. From the beaches of Miami to the mountains of Colorado, I was able to witness the beauty and diversity of America. And after years of hard work and dedication, I finally received my degree. It was a proud moment for me and my family, knowing that I had accomplished what I set out to do. My journey as an international student in the USA was not always easy, but it was definitely worth it. It helped me to grow as a person and achieve my dreams. And for that, I will forever be grateful. Don't forget to check out the video description for additional information on what we covered in this video. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. The United States of America is a country of opportunity, innovation, and diversity. Every year, thousands of international students choose to study in the USA, and for good reason. Today, we'll explore the top reasons why studying in the USA is an experience of a lifetime. First, the education system. 
The USA is home to some of the world's most prestigious universities, including Ivy League schools such as Harvard, Yale, and Princeton. The quality of education in the USA is unparalleled, and students have access to cutting-edge research and top-notch professors. Next, extracurricular activities. American universities offer a wide range of extracurricular activities, from sports to clubs and organizations. These activities not only help students make new friends but also provide opportunities to develop new skills and interests. Third, the campus culture. American universities are known for their vibrant campus culture, where students from all over the world come together to share ideas and experiences. The diversity of perspectives and backgrounds leads to a rich and dynamic learning environment. Fourth, networking opportunities. The USA is home to some of the world's largest and most successful companies, and studying in the USA provides students with unparalleled access to these companies and their executives. This access can lead to internships, jobs, and valuable networking connections. Finally, the American experience. Studying in the USA is not just about academics, it's also about experiencing American culture firsthand. From the food to the music to the landmarks, the USA has a unique culture that is both diverse and exciting. So, there you have it, the top reasons to study in the USA. From the quality of education to the vibrant campus culture to the networking opportunities, studying in the USA is an experience that will last a lifetime. So what are you waiting for? Come and join us in the USA for an experience of a lifetime. If you found this video helpful, you'll definitely want to take a look at the description for more tips and insights. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Studying in the USA can be an exciting and life-changing experience, but it can also be overwhelming. There are many steps you need to take before you can start your journey as a student in the USA. Here are the essential steps you need to follow to study in the USA. Step 1. Research the universities and programs that interest you. The USA has thousands of universities and programs to choose from, so it's essential to find the ones that are the best fit for you. Step 2. Speak with Study Metro to understand the application requirements. Step 3. Submit your application and required documents. Step 4. Apply for a student visa. Step 5. Prepare for your journey to the USA. Step 6. Arrive in the USA and attend international student orientation. Step 7. Begin your studies and enjoy your experience as an international student in the USA. Studying in the USA can be an exciting and enriching experience that will open up new opportunities for you. Follow these steps and make your dream of studying in the USA a reality. To get access to exclusive content related to this video, make sure to check out the video description below. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Choosing the right state to study in the USA is an important decision for any student. Each state has its own unique characteristics that can influence your educational experience. Let's take a closer look at some of the best states to be a student in the USA, starting with the East Coast. Massachusetts is home to some of the most prestigious universities in the country, including Harvard, MIT, and Tufts. These universities offer a world-class education, and Massachusetts is known for its strong programs in science, technology, engineering, and math. If warm weather and beaches are more your style, Florida is a great option. Florida is home to a diverse range of universities, including the University of Florida and Florida State University. For those interested in city life, New York is a popular choice. With universities like Columbia, NYU, and Cornell, New York offers a unique urban educational experience. Moving to the West Coast, Colorado is a popular choice for students who love the great outdoors. The state offers a range of universities, including the University of Colorado and Colorado State University. And finally, California is another top choice for students.
The state boasts some of the most renowned universities in the world, including Stanford, UC Berkeley, and UCLA. Ultimately, the best state to study in depends on your personal preferences and educational goals. But no matter where you choose to study, you'll have the opportunity to meet new people, explore new places, and grow both personally and academically. So choose wisely and enjoy the journey. Don't forget to check out the video description for additional information on what we covered in this video. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Studying abroad is an incredible opportunity to immerse yourself in a new culture, make lifelong connections, and gain a global perspective. But why choose the United States? Here are just a few reasons why studying in the USA is better than any other country in the world. First and foremost, the United States is home to some of the best universities in the world. From Ivy League schools like Harvard and Yale to public institutions like the University of California and Michigan State, there are thousands of options for students of all backgrounds and interests. In addition to top-notch academics, American universities also offer cutting-edge research opportunities and state-of-the-art facilities. You'll have access to some of the most advanced labs, libraries, and technology in the world, giving you a competitive edge in your field. But it's not just about academics. American universities also prioritize student life and the overall college experience. You'll have countless opportunities to get involved in extracurricular activities, join clubs and organizations, and attend events and concerts. And let's not forget about the culture. The United States is a melting pot of diverse people, traditions, and ideas. Studying here will expose you to new perspectives and give you a deeper understanding of the world around you. And finally, a degree from an American university is highly respected around the world. Employers value the critical thinking, problem-solving, and communication skills that students develop through their education in the United States. Don't forget to check out the video description for additional information on what we covered in this video. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Raj, an Indian student who dreams of studying in the United States. Like many other international students, Raj faces a common challenge, meeting the admission requirements of US universities. But there is a solution, Pathway Programs. Pathway Programs are a bridge between a student's current academic qualifications and the requirements of a US university. Hi, Raj. How can I help you? Hi, I want to study in the United States, but I don't meet the admission requirements of the universities I'm interested in. I understand. Pathway programs can help you get there. We have partnerships with universities across the United States that offer pathway programs for international students like you. Pathway programs typically include English language courses, academic skill building courses, and courses in your chosen field of study. Once you successfully complete the pathway program, you will be eligible to transfer to one of our partner universities as a full-time student. With pathway programs, students like Raj can start their journey towards a U.S. degree, even if they don't meet all the admission requirements. Pathway programs offer a supportive learning environment, with small class sizes and personalized attention from faculty and advisors. This helps international students like Raj to adapt to the U.S. education system and succeed academically. After successfully completing his pathway program, Raj can now transfer to a U.S. university as a full-time student, with a better understanding of the U.S. education system and improved academic skills. Pathway programs are an excellent option for international students like Raj, who want to study in the U.S. but need a little extra support to get there. With pathway programs, the dream of studying in the U.S. can become a reality for many international students. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Every year, thousands of Indian students dream of studying in the United States. But with so many universities and programs to choose from, it can be overwhelming to decide where to start. Have you heard of Pathway Programs? No, what are those? Pathway Programs are designed to help international students bridge the gap between their current education level and the academic requirements of a U.S. university. They offer academic, language, and cultural support to ensure a smooth transition into American college life. 
There are many pathway programs available in the United States, tailored specifically for Indian students. Let's take a look at some of the most popular ones. The first program we'll look at is the Global Pathways program offered by Northeastern University. Our Global Pathways program offers students the opportunity to study in Boston while improving their English skills and taking courses in their desired field. We also offer cultural and social activities to help students feel more comfortable in their new environment. Another popular pathway program is the International Year program offered by the University of Utah. Our International Year program offers students a full year of intensive English language and academic preparation, with the option to transfer into one of our degree programs upon completion. We also offer a strong support system to help students adjust to American culture. Finally, we have the Global Start program offered by Arizona State University. Our Global Start program is a comprehensive pathway program that includes academic, language, and cultural support. We also offer a variety of extracurricular activities to help students make new friends and feel more at home. No matter which pathway program you choose, you'll be setting yourself up for success in your American college journey. Good luck, like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Getting a scholarship to study at a university in the United States can seem like an impossible dream for many students. But it doesn't have to be that way. With a little bit of knowledge and some hard work, you can increase your chances of receiving a scholarship and making your dream a reality. In this video, we will go through some tips and tricks to help you get scholarships to study at a university in the United States. First thing that helped me get a scholarship was to do my research. I looked into the universities I was interested in and found out what scholarships they offer. Researching scholarship programs is essential to increasing your chances of receiving one. Look into the different types of scholarships available and their eligibility requirements. Your school guidance counselor is also an excellent resource for finding scholarships. They can help you identify programs that you are eligible for and even provide you with application assistance. Participating in extracurricular activities is another way to improve your chances of receiving a scholarship. Universities are interested in well-rounded individuals who can contribute to their campus community. Volunteer work is another way to show your commitment to the community and increase your chances of receiving a scholarship. When applying for a scholarship, make sure to put a lot of effort into your application essay. This is your chance to stand out and show why you are the best candidate for the scholarship. Some scholarship programs may require an interview, so make sure to prepare by practicing your interview skills and researching the university. Finally, it's essential to apply to as many scholarship programs as possible. This will increase your chances of receiving one and make your dream of studying in the United States a reality. By following these tips and tricks, you can make your dream of studying in the United States a reality. Good luck on your scholarship journey. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hey there, are you interested in studying in the United States but worried about the high tuition fees? Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to study in the USA for free. Scholarships The first and most obvious option is to apply for scholarships. There are plenty of scholarships available for international students who want to study in the USA. Many universities offer scholarships based on academic achievement, athletic ability, or even your country of origin. Make sure to research the scholarships available and apply to as many as you can. Fellowships Another option is to apply for fellowships. Fellowships are similar to scholarships, but they are usually awarded to students who are pursuing research or specific academic programs. Many fellowships will cover tuition fees and also provide a living allowance. Grants Grants are another option for funding your education. Grants are usually awarded to students who demonstrate financial need, but there are also grants available for specific fields of study. You can search for grants on the websites of various organizations and foundations. Work-study programs Work-study programs are a great way to earn money while you study. Many universities offer work-study programs that allow students to work part-time on campus while also attending classes. These jobs can be in various fields such as administration, research, or even teaching. Internships Internships are another way to gain valuable experience while also earning money. Many companies offer paid internships to students who are studying in related fields. Not only can you earn money to pay for your education, but you can also gain practical experience in your field. So, there you have it. These are some of the ways you can study in the USA for free. 
Remember, it's important to research all your options and apply to as many scholarships, fellowships, and grants as possible. And if you're willing to work hard, there are plenty of opportunities to fund your education and achieve your academic goals. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Pursuing higher education in the United States can be an exciting and fulfilling experience. There are many opportunities available for students who are interested in teaching, research, and graduate assistantships. One of the most popular paths for graduate students is teaching. As a teaching assistant, you will have the opportunity to work closely with experienced professors to develop your own teaching skills. If you are interested in research, graduate assistantships offer an opportunity to work with professors and other researchers on cutting-edge projects. You will have the opportunity to present your own research at academic conferences and contribute to the advancement of your field. In addition, you will receive valuable feedback and guidance from experienced professionals in your field. As a graduate assistant, you may also have the opportunity to work on your own projects and develop skills that will be valuable in your future career. Whether you are interested in teaching, research, or a combination of both, pursuing a graduate assistantship in the United States can provide you with a unique and valuable experience. With a wide range of programs and opportunities available, there has never been a better time to pursue higher education in the United States. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Getting into a top-ranked university in the USA can be a daunting task. But with the right guidance and preparation, it's definitely achievable. In this video, I'm going to share some tips that will help you get into the university of your dreams. Tip 1. Start early. The earlier you start, the better. Start researching universities at least a year before you plan to apply. This will give you enough time to gather information about the universities you're interested in, and to start preparing your application materials. Make a list of the universities you want to apply to and research their admission requirements, deadlines, and application fees. Make sure you also research the programs they offer, their faculty, and the campus culture. Tip 2. Take standardized tests. Standardized tests are an important part of the admission process in the USA. The most common tests are the SAT and the ACT for undergraduate degree and GRE or GMAT for master degree. Also write IELTS or TEFL for English proficiency. Make sure you take these tests early enough so that you have time to retake them if you need to improve your scores. Prepare for these tests by studying the material in the official study guides. There are also many online resources available that can help you prepare. Tip 3. Focus on your grades and extracurricular activities. Grades are an important part of the admission process, but they're not the only thing that matters. Admissions officers also look at your extracurricular activities, community service, and leadership experience. Make sure you're involved in activities that you're passionate about. This will help you stand out from other applicants. Tip 4. Write a great personal statement. Your personal statement is your opportunity to showcase who you are as a person and why you are a good fit for the university you are applying to. Make sure your personal statement is well written, concise, and demonstrates your unique perspective. Use examples to illustrate your points and show that you are a critical thinker. Tip 5. Get strong letters of recommendation. Letters of recommendation are another important part of the admission process. Choose teachers or mentors who know you well and can speak to your academic and personal strengths. Make sure you give your recommenders enough time to write a strong letter. Provide them with information about the university you are applying to and why you are a good fit. Getting into a top-ranked university in the USA is a challenging process, but with hard work, dedication, and these tips, you can make your dream a reality. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Pursuing higher education abroad can be an enriching experience. And for Indian students, the United States has always been a top destination. But with so many courses and universities to choose from, the decision-making process can be overwhelming. In this video, we'll be discussing the best courses in the USA for Indian students. Let's start with one of the most popular courses for Indian students, Computer Science. The United States is home to some of the world's leading universities offering computer science programs. Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, is ranked number one for computer science in the world, followed by Stanford University and Carnegie Mellon University. These universities offer courses in computer science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science. Moving on to another popular course, medicine. Medical education in the United States is highly respected and regarded as one of the best in the world. 
Harvard University, Stanford University, and Johns Hopkins University are some of the top universities offering medical programs. For students interested in law, the United States offers some of the best law schools in the world. Harvard Law School, Yale Law School, and Stanford Law School are some of the top-ranked universities. Lastly, for students interested in science, the United States offers world-class programs in various fields such as physics, chemistry, and biology. Massachusetts Institute of Technology (MIT), California Institute of Technology (Caltech), and Stanford University are some of the top universities offering science programs. With so many options, it's important to research and choose a program that aligns with your interests and career goals. We hope this video has helped you in your decision-making process. Good luck with your studies in the United States. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. The world is rapidly evolving, and we need to prepare the next generation to tackle complex global challenges. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM) fields are critical for addressing these challenges and building a better future for all. In this video, we'll explore everything you should know about STEM programs in the USA. What are STEM programs, and why are they important? STEM programs are educational initiatives that focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. They are important because these fields play a vital role in our economy, and they have the potential to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. STEM programs are also essential for preparing students for the jobs of the future. STEM programs offer hands-on learning opportunities, where students can apply classroom knowledge to real-world problems. This type of experiential learning is essential for developing critical thinking, problem-solving, and teamwork skills. What type of students benefit from STEM programs? STEM programs are for all students, regardless of their background or interests. However, students who enjoy math and science tend to excel in these programs. Students who are curious, creative, and willing to work hard also tend to do well. STEM programs offer a range of opportunities, from coding and robotics to environmental science and healthcare. There's something for everyone. How did the STEM program prepare you for the workforce? The STEM program taught me how to solve complex problems, work in teams, and think critically. These skills have been invaluable in my career as a software engineer. STEM programs also help students develop communication skills, which are essential for success in any career. They learn how to collaborate, present their ideas, and listen to feedback. Why do you fund STEM programs? STEM programs are critical for our economy, and they have the potential to transform lives. By investing in STEM education, we're investing in the future. STEM programs also offer opportunities for students to compete and showcase their skills. These competitions can lead to scholarships, internships, and job opportunities. In conclusion, STEM programs are essential for preparing students for the jobs of the future. They offer hands-on learning opportunities, develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills, and help students develop communication and teamwork skills. By investing in STEM education, we're investing in the future. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. In the United States, students have a wide range of options when it comes to choosing their college majors. Some students choose to pursue fields in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM), while others choose non-STEM majors such as the arts, humanities, and social sciences. But what are the differences between these two paths, and why do some students choose one over the other? Act 1: STEM majors. STEM majors have become increasingly popular in recent years, with many students drawn to the potential for high-paying jobs and the opportunity to make a difference in the world through scientific research and innovation. These majors require a strong foundation in mathematics and often involve extensive laboratory work and research projects. Act Two: Non-STEM majors. Non-STEM majors encompass a wide variety of fields, including the arts, humanities, and social sciences. These majors often focus on critical thinking, communication, and creativity, and they can lead to a diverse range of career opportunities. Despite the differences between STEM and non-STEM majors, both paths have their strengths and weaknesses. While STEM majors can lead to high-paying jobs and groundbreaking research, non-STEM majors can provide students with valuable skills such as critical thinking and communication that are highly valued in many fields. Whether students choose to pursue STEM or non-STEM majors, the most important thing is that they find a path that they are passionate about and that will allow them to achieve their goals. 
Both paths have their own unique challenges and opportunities, and it is up to each individual student to determine which one is right for them. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be discussing how to apply for an F1 student visa to study in the United States. This visa is necessary for anyone who wants to study in the US for an extended period of time, so it's important to understand the process. We'll be going over everything you need to know, step by step. Step 1. Acceptance to a US school. The first step to getting an F1 student visa is to be accepted into a school in the United States. You cannot apply for a student visa unless you have been accepted to a school. Once you have been accepted, the school will provide you with a Form I-20, which is a document that proves your acceptance and enrollment. Step 2. Pay the SEVIS fee. The next step is to pay the SEVIS fee. SEVIS stands for Student and Exchange Visitor Information System, and it's a program that tracks international students and exchange visitors. You can pay the fee online, and you will need to provide your SEVIS ID number, which can be found on your Form I-20. Step 3. Complete the DS-160 form. The DS-160 form is an online application for a non-immigrant visa. You'll need to complete this form in order to apply for your F1 student visa. The form will ask for basic information about yourself, your education, and your travel plans. Be sure to fill it out completely and accurately. Step 4. Schedule an interview. Once you've completed the DS-160 form, you'll need to schedule an interview at the US Embassy or Consulate in your home country. The interview is an opportunity for the Embassy or Consulate to assess your eligibility for a student visa. Be prepared to answer questions about your education, your travel plans, and your ties to your home country. Step 5. Attend your interview. On the day of your interview, make sure to arrive early and bring all of the necessary documents with you. This includes your Form I-20, your SEVIS fee receipt, your DS-160 confirmation page, your passport, and any other supporting documents that demonstrate your ties to your home country. During the interview, be polite and honest, and answer all questions to the best of your ability. Step 6. Wait for your visa. After your interview, you'll need to wait for your visa to be processed. This can take several weeks, so be patient. Once your visa is approved, you'll be able to travel to the United States and begin your studies. Congratulations! You've successfully applied for an F1 student visa to study in the United States. Remember to follow all of the rules and regulations of your visa, and enjoy your time studying in the US. Good luck, like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Priya, a driven student from India who always dreamed of studying in the United States. However, her journey was not without its obstacles. Priya struggled to navigate the complex application process, especially when it came to securing her student visa. So, why do you want to study in the United States? I want to expand my knowledge and skills in the field of computer science, and I believe that the United States offers the best education in this field. After a nerve-wracking interview, Priya's visa was finally approved, and she set out to achieve her dreams. Studying in the United States proved to be an enriching experience for Priya. She was exposed to diverse perspectives and ideas, and she gained a deeper understanding of her chosen field. After years of hard work, Priya graduated with flying colors, and she was ready to take on the world. Priya's education in the United States opened up many doors for her, and she was able to secure a job at a leading tech company in the United States. Studying in the United States was one of the best decisions I ever made. It was not easy, but it was definitely worth it. I encourage anyone who is considering studying abroad to pursue their dreams and never give up. Priya's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and determination. With hard work and dedication, anything is possible. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hi there. My name is Sarah, and today I want to share with you my journey of applying for an F1 visa study permit to study in the United States. Before starting the application process, I did a lot of research to make sure I had all the necessary documents and information. First, I found out which US schools offer the program I wanted to study, and made a list of those schools. Then, I wrote down all the application requirements for each school, including transcripts, letters of recommendation, test scores, and essays. 
After that, I began filling out the online student application forms at Study Metro portal. The forms were pretty straightforward, but I had to be careful to enter all the information correctly. Once I finished the application forms, I scanned all the required documents and uploaded them to the Study Metro portal. This included my passport, financial documents, and proof of English proficiency. While waiting for the each schools to review my applications, I researched the F1 visa requirements and began filling out the online visa application form on the US Department of State website. The visa application required a lot of information, including my personal information, travel history, and information about the school I plan to attend. I also had to upload a passport style photo and pay the visa application fee. Once I completed the visa application, I scheduled an appointment at the US embassy or consulate in my home country for a visa interview. The interview was a bit nerve-wracking, but the consular officer just asked me some basic questions about my study plans and financial situation. Finally, after several weeks of waiting, I received my F1 visa in the mail and was ready to start my studies in the United States. So, that was my experience of applying for an F1 visa study permit. It may seem like a lot of work, but with some preparation and patience, it's definitely achievable. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hi, I'm a student who wants to pursue my higher education in the United States. However, before I can do that, I need to apply for an F1 student visa. In this video, I'll be sharing the documents required for the F1 student visa application. First and foremost, you need a valid passport. Your passport must be valid for at least 6 months beyond your intended stay in the United States. Next, you need an acceptance letter from a US educational institution. This letter confirms that you have been accepted into a program of study and that you intend to enroll. Once you have been accepted into a US educational institution, the school will issue you a Form I-20. This is a government document that confirms your acceptance and outlines the details of your program of study. You also need to show proof of financial support. This includes bank statements, scholarship letters, and any other documents that prove that you have enough funds to cover your tuition, living expenses, and other costs associated with studying in the US. You will also need to complete the DS-160 form online. This form is used to apply for a non-immigrant visa, and it is important to fill it out accurately and truthfully. Finally, you need to pay the visa application fee. The fee varies depending on your country of origin, so be sure to check the US Department of State's website for the most up-to-date information. So those are the documents required for the F1 student visa application. It may seem like a lot, but with careful preparation and attention to detail, you can successfully obtain your F1 visa and begin your journey towards a brighter future in the United States. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Protagonist, hi, my name is Ayush, and I'm here to share my experience of applying for an F1 USA visa for the first time. I hope my story can help those who are in the same boat as I was. Protagonist, voiceover, walking into the US embassy was nerve-wracking. I had prepared for months for this interview, but I still felt anxious. I had all my documents with me, including my I-20 form, my acceptance letter, my financial records, and my transcripts. What brings you to the United States? The first question was a simple one, but it caught me off guard. I took a deep breath and answered confidently that I was going to study at university name and pursue my degree in major. How are you planning to finance your studies in the US? The second question was about my finances. I had prepared a detailed financial plan that showed how I would pay for my tuition and living expenses. I handed over my documents and explained my financial situation. Do you have any relatives or friends in the United States? The third question was about my connections to the US. I told the interviewer that I didn't have any relatives or friends in the US, but I had done my research about the city I would be living in and was excited to explore it. Your visa is approved. Welcome to the United States. And just like that, the interview was over. 
I was relieved and ecstatic that I had gotten my visa on the first attempt. That was my experience of applying for an F1 USA visa for the first time. My advice to anyone preparing for the interview is to be confident, know your documents inside and out, and be honest with the interviewer. It may seem daunting, but it's not impossible. Good luck, like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hello and welcome to this mock interview preparation video for F1 visa students in the USA. In this video, we'll go through a story-based approach to help you prepare for your upcoming F1 visa interview. Meet Raj, a student from India who has just received an acceptance letter from a prestigious university in the United States. Raj is excited about the opportunity to study in the US, but he knows that the next step is to get his F1 visa. He has heard that the interview process can be challenging, so he wants to be well prepared. Raj starts researching online to find out more about the F1 visa interview process. He discovers that the interview is designed to determine if he is a genuine student who intends to return to his home country after completing his studies. He also learns that he needs to be able to answer questions about his academic background, his chosen course of study, and his plans for the future. Raj decides to seek help from a study metro consultant to prepare for the interview. The study metro advises him to practice answering questions using the STAR method. The STAR method stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. It's a structured way of answering questions that helps to demonstrate your skills and experience. Raj spends several weeks practicing his responses using the STAR method. He prepares answers to questions about his academic background, his motivation for studying in the US, and his career aspirations. He also practices his non-verbal communication, such as maintaining eye contact and smiling when appropriate. Finally, the day of the interview arrives. Raj dresses professionally and arrives early to the embassy. He feels nervous, but he takes a few deep breaths and reminds himself of all the preparation he has done. During the interview, the consular officer asks Raj several questions about his academic background and his reasons for wanting to study in the US. Raj answers the questions using the STAR method, providing specific examples of his academic achievements and his motivation for pursuing his chosen course of study. The consular officer also asks Raj about his plans for the future. Raj explains that he plans to return to India after completing his studies to apply his knowledge and skills in his home country. He also talks about his long-term career aspirations and how his studies in the US will help him achieve his goals. The consular officer seems satisfied with Raj's responses and approves his F1 visa. Raj is overjoyed and thanks the consular officer for the opportunity to study in the US. And that's it. By using the STAR method and practicing your responses, you can be confident in your ability to answer questions during your F1 visa interview. Remember to dress professionally, arrive early, and maintain a positive attitude throughout the interview. Good luck, like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Welcome to our video on tips and tricks for obtaining an F1 visa. If you are planning to study in the United States, obtaining an F1 visa is one of the most important steps you will take. In this video, we will give you some valuable tips and tricks to help make the process easier and more successful. The first tip is to make sure you have all the required documents for your visa interview. This includes your passport, SEVIS fee receipt, Form DS-160, financial documents, acceptance letter from your university, and any other relevant documents. Make sure to bring originals and copies of all these documents. The second tip is to be prepared for your visa interview. This means researching the university you will be attending, practicing your English speaking skills, and being able to clearly explain your academic and career goals. The third tip is to dress professionally for your visa interview. This can make a positive first impression on the consular officer and show that you are taking the interview seriously. The fourth tip is to be honest during your visa interview. It is important to provide truthful answers to any questions the consular officer asks you. Lying or providing misleading information can result in your visa being denied. The fifth tip is to clearly explain your intentions for studying in the United States. This can include your academic goals, career aspirations, and why you chose the specific university you will be attending. It is important to show that you have a clear plan for your education and future. The sixth tip is to be confident during your visa interview. This can help you to appear more credible and convincing to the consular officer. It is normal to feel nervous, but practicing beforehand can help to build your confidence. The final tip is to thank the consular officer at the end of the interview. This can leave a positive impression and show that you are respectful and grateful for their time. We hope these tips and tricks for obtaining an F1 visa have been helpful to you. 
Remember to be prepared, honest, and confident during your visa interview. Good luck with your studies in the United States. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. As an international student studying in the United States, you may be thinking about applying for an H-1B visa after graduation to stay and work in the country. Here's how you can do it. The first step is to familiarize yourself with the application process. You can find detailed information on the USCIS website, including eligibility requirements and application forms. Make sure to pay attention to deadlines and gather all necessary documentation, such as your passport, educational transcripts, and work experience. If you have any questions or concerns about the process, consider consulting with an immigration lawyer who can guide you through the application process and help you avoid any mistakes. Once you've gathered all your materials and are ready to apply, you can submit your application to the USCIS office. Be prepared to pay a fee and wait several months for a decision. If your application is approved, you will receive an H-1B visa that allows you to work in the United States for a specified period of time. Congratulations! With your H-1B visa, you can now pursue your career in the United States and continue to build a life here. Remember, applying for an H-1B visa can be a complex process, but with careful preparation and the right guidance, you can successfully navigate the process and achieve your goals. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Hello and welcome to this video on Captain and Opt in the USA. As an international student, you may have heard these terms thrown around but might not be completely clear on what they mean. In this video, we'll give you a rundown of what CPT and Opt are and how they can benefit you as an international student. So let's start with Captain, which stands for Curricular Practical Training. CPT is a program that allows international students to gain practical work experience related to their field of study while still in school. This can be an internship, co-op, or any other type of work experience that is required or recommended by the student's academic program. To be eligible for captain, the student must have been enrolled in their program for at least one year and must have maintained their F1 status. Additionally, the work experience must be directly related to the student's major or program of study. The student must also receive academic credit for the work experience. Now, let's move on to OPT, which stands for Optional Practical Training. OPT is a program that allows international students to work in the United States for up to 12 months after graduation. This work experience can be in any field, not necessarily related to the student's major or program of study. To be eligible for OPT, the student must have completed their degree and must have maintained their F1 status. The student must also apply for and receive an Employment Authorization Document EAD, from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS, before they can start working. It's important to note that students are only eligible for a total of 12 months of OPT, regardless of whether they use it before or after graduation. However, students who graduate with a degree in a science, technology, engineering, or mathematics STEM, field may be eligible for a 24-month extension of their OPT, giving them a total of 36 months of work authorization in the United States. In summary, CPT and OPT are programs that allow international students in the United States to gain practical work experience related to their field of study while still in school and after graduation. CPT is for work experience while still in school, and OPT is for work experience after graduation. Both programs require the student to maintain their F1 status, and there are certain eligibility requirements that must be met in order to participate in each program. We hope this video has been helpful in explaining CPT and OPT. If you have any further questions or would like more information, be sure to speak with your academic advisor or the International Student Services Office at your school. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Sara, a bright student from India who has dreamt of studying in the USA since childhood. Sara's parents are also excited about her going to the USA and have been saving up for her education for years. However, when Sara applied for an F1 visa to study in the USA, her application was rejected. In this video, we will discuss the common reasons why F1 visa applications get rejected, so you can avoid making the same mistakes as Sara. The first reason why F1 visa applications get rejected is that the applicant does not have sufficient ties to their home country. Sara had completed her undergraduate degree in India and had no job or family ties to her home country. This lack of ties made the visa officer doubt whether she would return to India after completing her studies in the USA. 
The second reason why F1 visa applications get rejected is incomplete or inaccurate information on the application. Sarah had missed out on filling in some details on her application form, which led to her application being rejected. It is essential to carefully fill in all the details on the application form and provide accurate information to avoid rejection. The third reason why F1 visa applications get rejected is financial inadequacy. Sarah had not saved up enough money to cover the costs of her education in the USA. Even though Sarah's parents had saved up money for her education, they did not have enough funds to show that they could support her financially while she was studying in the USA. The fourth reason why F1 visa applications get rejected is the failure to convince the visa officer that you are a genuine student. Sarah was not able to convince the visa officer that she was a genuine student who would return to India after completing her studies. It is important to prepare well for the interview, be confident, and answer all the questions truthfully to convince the visa officer. By avoiding these common mistakes, you can increase your chances of getting your F1 visa approved, just like these happy students. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. As an international student, one of the biggest challenges you may face is gaining practical work experience while studying in the United States. However, there is a program that can help you do just that, Curricular Practical Training, or CPT. CPT is a program that allows international students to gain practical work experience directly related to their field of study. It is an opportunity for students to apply the theoretical knowledge they have learned in the classroom to real-world work experience. To be eligible for captain, you must be enrolled as a full-time student in a college or university that is authorized by the US government to participate in the program. You will also need to work with your academic advisor to ensure that your captain work experience is directly related to your field of study and will help you meet your academic goals. Once you have identified a potential employer and secured a job offer, you will need to apply for captain authorization from your college or university. The application process typically involves completing a form and providing documentation such as your job offer letter and proof of enrollment. Once you receive authorization, you can begin working at your captain job. You are allowed to work part-time, up to 20 hours per week, or full-time, more than 20 hours per week, during the academic year, depending on your specific circumstances. It is important to maintain communication with your academic advisor and CPT employer throughout the duration of your work experience. You should also keep detailed records of your work hours and duties to ensure that you are in compliance with the program requirements. When your captain work experience is complete, your employer may provide you with a certificate of completion that documents your achievements and contributions. By participating in the CPT program, international students can gain valuable work experience that can help them achieve their career goals and build a strong professional network. With the right preparation and support, CPT can be a valuable addition to any international student's academic experience. Thank you for watching this guide to understanding the CPT program for international students. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content. Meet Kavya, a final year student pursuing her bachelor's degree in computer science from Central Michigan University. She is worried about her future after graduation. Like many international students, Kavya came to the US to pursue her dreams of higher education and a promising career. But now, she is facing uncertainty about her job prospects after graduation. Hey, have you started applying for jobs yet? Yeah, I have, but it's been tough. Most companies are looking for candidates with work authorization. Yeah, I know, I'm really worried about finding a job too. This is a common concern among international students in the US. However, there is an option that can help alleviate this worry, optional practical training or OPT. OPT is a program that allows F1 students to work in the US for up to 12 months after graduation in their field of study. This provides an opportunity for students like Kavya to gain practical work experience and enhance their skills while searching for long-term employment. Wow, this sounds like a great opportunity. But how do I apply for OPT? Hi Kavya, I see you're interested in OPT. We can help you with the application process. The university's career center can assist students with the OPT application process, including providing guidance on eligibility requirements, deadlines, and necessary documentation. After submitting the application, students can expect to receive an Employment Authorization Document or EAD card, which allows them to legally work in the US during their OPT period. With the EAD card, Kavya can now apply for internships or jobs in her field of study. Can you tell us about your previous work experience? 
Yes, I recently completed an internship through Opt, where I gained valuable experience in software development. That's impressive. We'd love to have you on our team. Thanks to Opt, Kavya was able to gain the necessary work experience and secure a job in her field of study, helping her fulfill her career aspirations. If you're an F1 student in the US, consider Opt as a viable option for gaining work experience and achieving your career goals. Visit your university's career center to learn more. Like, share, and subscribe to Study Metro for more awesome content.